Welcome to Hidden Collections. Today we are going to do a Wizards of the Coast vintage collection going through, I think it's up and down through base set, jungle fossil, gym heroes, gym challenge, team rocket. Or I don't think it goes into the Neo, but we will see, you know, as we're as we're going through. So let's start out with this one. So I picked this one up off offline because it's a little bit um, harder to find uh, things more locally. Some are local, some aren't, are not. Um, so just kind of a little collection. It's This is how it was sent to me. So I kind of wanted to just leave it uh, how it was to go through it. So it's kind of like opening up little mini packs I guess is what I'm trying to say but um so you'll get to see Pokemon from at least the first seven sets I believe out of this one uh, as we can see this one here we have a, a first edition Eevee of this one from Jungle watch I guess the Ponyta an energy removal is it I think it is usually darker. I'm not 100% sure if that's a shadowless energy removal. I don't think it is. Um, a champ, a magmar, a ratata, a weedle. So these are just kind of, I think, just put randomly in there and were shipped. Uh, I don't think this one was very much for a collection. I know a lot of the commons and uncommons don't. I don't think they go for very much. There's a shadowless uh, Growlithe. Hmm. A, you know, played condition. Light played. Let's see. Oh, Dark Muck got its own. So, it's just another one. Uh, these will, I um, will check the binders again. And then after uh, this video, do a binder update. Because I did do that big um, base set 2 collection. And it filled in quite a bit of, at least the commons and uncommon uh Pokemon, like I was saying in that one, I wasn't able to. I tried to get the trainers, but someone already scooped them up. So, I mean, a lot of these base set two cards, I think, I already have a lot of them. So it's pretty cool seeing the whole set. Uh, I think I have more of the rares coming in later collection videos. So, but kind of gives you a little, you know, feel for all the sets and how they. Uh, you know, different the uh, different arts and everything, the different Pokemon, because not, you know, because they have to break them up into the different sets. So, well, this seems familiar. Like, I already opened this one with those base set two Pokemon. So, this one's just kind of going through. Uh, like I said, I think a lot of... Is it in one in the fall over? No, I'm going to have to... Uh, separate them and go through these but every time I get to open like this one's not like you have to be careful like this one is thrown in here this is a generations one you can see by the XX right there next to the diamond so this is not so I don't know if I missed any other one I don't think I did it was kind of the border that gave it away to me like I said I hadn't gone through these so that is not a card but this polywag is because it doesn't have that XX right there for the 20th um, anniversary of Pokemon. So that's what you have to watch out to um, when you're ordering cards and they say they're vintage. I've seen people trying to sell, like you can see the generation symbol down the bottom. They're trying to sell them off as uh, um, the original base set. And it's like, that's not an original base set. And some people just don't know or they, they know and they're just, you know... Out to make a quick buck on you know you not paying attention. There's a shadowless polywag, another one. Let's see this one. And light played. Condition. Check the other one. It has a little bit more play on the sides. So it's cool getting a few shadowless cards in here. Um, I have another collection to go through. On Jigglypuff. A like I said, you know, putting these out, I don't want to do like a ton and everything. There's been some changes in what I'm doing. I feel like I'm going to be doing 
Uh, for the binders, you might see a shift in it to where I'm putting in more uh, just regular and taking out the first edition cards. So I might be doing uh, first edition sets. You know, that's going to be take more time, and so I'd, I'd rather finish you know, sleep and another sleep. Uh, spend time working on just finishing the unlimited sets and then slowly working on first edition sets is if i try it it helps you know so it's not all mixed in and everything so just be saving these cards so going through here's a nice set of jungle cards some fossil crabby a zoo bat and jim heroes brock's onyx so just going through as probably someone found these cards and uh, just decided to like like it feels like everyone else is sell them uh, you see because they see that the market you know is good right now but with um, you know too many mod shops right there uh, but with you know things happening around the United States and around the world right now the the market's probably gonna probably slow down to where you're probably going to be able to find some better deals for things. Uh, just depending on what you're looking for. Oh, we got a foil Lapras right there. Things. Actually, not too bad around the edges and everything. But I think the surface is actually in... I mean, yeah, through the camera, but to the eye... There's some uh, scratches on it. I'm gonna pull out these sleeves that's what I have available. I can pull this out. Wasn't ex I'm pull this out for these uh, collection ones. Let's see what else I can find. I mean, some of them were loose around, so I had to make sure to sleeve them and protect them because it's good just to protect them. Like some of these ones have come in. Like the penny sleeves. I think because they were first edition cards. So they... Uh, you know, in pretty good shape to them. So I think that's why... Some did, some didn't. Not 100% sure what that's about. So, you know... Looking at some of these that are in condition and then I can start doing um, the binders with a uh, first edition cards yeah I mean those ones are gonna take and there's a first edition do duo right there it's got a little nick there and there on it first edition Atkins and then first edition Butterfree it's not the air but still Cool to see. Charmander is not it's a little wear on the bottom of it. But it's cool to to get these cards and everything. And an Eevee, a War Turtle, Cubone, Ghastly, and a Pikachu. It's in pretty good shape. It's a little nick here at the the bottom, but those are good cards to want to add into. So, look at this. So we got a Beedrill, a non hollow Dark Weezing Kangaskhan. I think we may have found the rares. There was rares in this one. There, we got a Gengar, we got the Promo Ente, an Electabuzz, non hollow Kangaskhan, a Haunter, non hollow Lapras, we got the Promo. Electabuzz, Promo Meryl, Promo Mew, uh, there's a Charmeleon, it's pretty beat up in this, uh, Shadowless Staryu, the Volpix, uh, Magmar, just mixed in here, uh, Pikachu, Charmander, Diglett, another Pikachu, Fero, so, an Executor, I don't feel like it. I don't know. I think they're just kind of throwing in the sleeves and everything. We're getting to some foils here now. We got Hitmonchan. 
Uh, first edition non hollow magneton. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. I opened one of these, just a regular one, for the Pokemon Day video. A uh, foil Kangaskhan, Giovanni's Persian, a Pidgeot of a Zapdos, a Poliwrath, an Alkazam, a Gyarados, and a Wigglytuff. It's a lot of hollows right there for the base set too, so that's going to be more finished. And a Clefairy from base set, a Clefairy, and a Chansey. A lot of those, and then these were just loose I, in them. Some of these were uh, loose, so I just picked them up. You got a Mew from base set. Uh, this Snorlax is, uh, I think it got misplaced, so I just slid it in here. This one's from the original intro video because it's got the damage here. Um, when looking at the card, um, it's got a crease through it. It was, uh, so it's damaged and everything, so it's like a binder card or a card I'm not sure to do with this. You got a Vaporeon, you got another Lapras. Uh, this one also was from something else, so I, I just put it in here. They were just, I didn't want to be like, here's two cards, here you go. Uh, this one also has a crease down the middle of it, and it's um, heavy played. we got a first edition Magneton Fossil foil. So it's like, why is this one hanging out all by itself? Um, looks like it's bent a little bit. But overall, good condition, like I'd want to put it. And then the last card here. Um, would be the Dark Alakazam. Uh, I know I put the, the bench, but I think there was so many I just would be putting it. it was just there, just in case if I was finding more throughout. Um, but that's this this little, uh, this, I'd say a m little bit medium-sized collection compared to the other ones that have been done. Um, so I'll be doing a binder update for the Wizards of the Coast binders after this video should be coming out as well to show more of the card slots filled like i said i'll be removing the first edition cards and the sh first edition cards from the other sets and the shadowless and first edition from base sets and just go with unlimited so it's all nice and uniform together the right ones uh besides machamp i think that one should be the only first edition card because i think that's the only thing you could get it in if i remember if if not, I'll, I'll do more research and correct myself and be like, here's a non one, but I think they all were first edition. So, um, I hope you enjoyed seeing this nice vintage collection of cards from the different sets. Uh, please uh, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Hit that like button that you enjoyed it. And hit that bell so you know when more videos are coming out from the channel. Until next time, have a great day. See you later.